Alex actually got a huge cheer for a bit of banjo playing. That was Electro Velvet. They're literally just down there. Now, I'm going to open things up a bit now to our expert panel, and I'm delighted to introduce this evening one Nina Sablati, the Georgian entry for Eurovision this year, and, of course, our very own beloved Dr. Eurovish himself. Nina, huge congratulations. You've made it through from the semis into the big final on Saturday. A, a great thing, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. I'm really happy. <laughs> Can I just say, that lipstick is quite extraordinary. It's mesmeric. Is it teal? Is it teal? What is teal? <laughs> Teal's a sort of blue. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Now, you love your kind of costumery. I loved your outfit. Thank you. Your outfit on Tuesday with the amazing, were they raven feathers? Yes, actually, I designed it by myself. Did you? <laughs> very, very good. And the little PVC shorts, do they have to go to the dry cleaners before Saturday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do they? Make sure they don't shrink. Now, Dr. Eurovish, what are your thoughts on tonight's crop? Well, Mel, another fantastic show. I've got my eye on three countries tonight. Israel, of course, the place erupted for our golden boy with the golden shoes. And that worked very well for Sweden in 1984. Harry's. Diggy doo diggly. I've got my eye on them, though, because they've not qualified since 2010, despite bringing back their previous winner, Diner International, in 2011. But fingers crossed for them. It's my guilty pleasure. It's great. Sweden, of course, big favourite. Mons der Malone. Mons, I think that's how you pronounce it. Apologies to any Swedish uh, speakers tonight. Heroes, very effective staging. And they've only missed out in the final in 2010, so they've got a very good record. They're up with us. They've won five times. And finally, Ireland, of course, reigning Eurovision champions. Seven victories under their belt. Fingers crossed they'll make it tonight, but I'm not sure. Like Molly, she's a singer. She's a gorgeous young little singer. She's 17. She was very shy, very nervous, but she was really excited as well about Eurovision. I'm hoping they get through, but she's got a grower, and you need a shower, <laughs> so to speak. You're so right, Dr. Eurovish. Now, Nina, from a performer's point of view, who are you scared by seeing tonight's performers? Oh, I, actually, I'm not scared, but I really like uh, Latvia because she's like, do you know the singer FKA Tweaks? FKA Twigs, yeah, yeah, I know her. Yeah, it, she like looks like and kind of sounds like her, and she actually did, did some moves like her. Yeah, so I love her. It's very loud, isn't it? <laughs> Were you a bit annoyed when you know when you knew that there was another artist singing a song called Warrior? Yeah. I love her. Actually, this is my one of the favorite songs, you know. But you're very diplomatic, Nina. Oh, no, <laughs> I'm not. I, I really love it. OK, but the show, I, I was like, I expected more. You know, it was just a fire and warrior. OK. Fair dues, fair dues. Yeah. I'm loving your warrior as well as, as Malta's warrior. Yes, what, what about you, Dr. Eurovish? Sorry, darling. What? Are you loving the warriors? Oh, I am. But I think, yeah, I think Georgia is the ultimate warrior. You know, Malta, of course, is the warrior, but Georgia's the real warrior. I wouldn't mess with Nina, warrior. Not with, not with that sort of caper round her neck. Now, thank you so much to Nina and to Dr. Eurovish. It is time now to get back to the main event.